The woman typed with only two fingers. Her speed was comparable to three times faster. Her hand is so fast that people can't see it clearly. The rubber band breaks. The clothes slide down. And she refuses to stop the action in her hand. The woman did not look up until she finished typing a page. Her ability to directly make the ball stunned. She blew her bangs in triumph and got the job of secretary just like that. But the next day, the boss brought a regional typing competition registration form. It was a competition that only girls could participate in. He required a minimum of 360 words per minute. Mistyping, missing words, and overtyping are all considered failures. The entire race is equivalent to the physical exertion of running 5,000 meters. Even though Rose had a great talent for typing, she had no idea what to do as she had never competed before. When she saw other girls put their hands on the keyboard, she immediately did the same. As the timer was tapped, the typing competition began. All the contestants looked at the text carefully while tapping the keyboard desperately. But Rose's two fingers were no match for the ten-fingered contestants. She lost the competition by only two words. On the way back, her boss was very angry. Rose had nested up the competition and planned to pack her bags and leave. But the boss found Rose at that moment. He suggested Rose to stay at his house for more professional training and to continue preparing for the next competition. But she thinks she can't do anything right. But with the encouragement of her boss, Rose agrees. At her boss's house, Rose finally understood the reason for his insistence on letting her compete. He had been a great athlete and had competed in big and small races, but he had never been a champion. Seeing Rose's amazing typing speed, he thought he could be the champion's coach if he couldn't be the champion. So his boss not only brought a bunch of famous books and asked Rose to finish typing a famous book in a month, he also bought a children's typewriter to teach Rose to practice typing with ten fingers in order for Rose to have a better state on the field. In addition to the regular daily typing training, she also increased the physical training of running five kilometers a day. But her boss also has a gentle side. Whenever Rose was tired, her boss would help her to relax with a massage. The relationship between them also gradually wound up. In order to improve Rose's finger dexterity, her boss even asked a friend to teach her piano. With her boss's comprehensive training, Rose's typing speed became faster and faster. Rose entered the competition again and beat main competitors along the way. She finally became the typing champion of the Normandy district with a score of 19 words per minute and qualified for the national championship. The woman stared at the script, her hands tapping the keyboard at a rapid pace. She pushed the typed paper and in an instant, the page was full. In the national championship competition, a woman is always the first to turn the page. She was the national typing champion. With a record of 500 strokes per minute, Rose strained hard for months to beat her. Once the competition began, Rose concentrated on her typing. She went from the quarterfinals to the semifinals, surrounded by fewer and fewer competitors. Rose's fingers were flying on the keyboard. She was very tired after a match. The referee finally announced that Rose and the woman entered the final together. The woman smiled on the surface. Then she slowly gave Rose the middle finger. The two face each other in a five-minute final duel. Whoever types more will win. In order to win the championship, both of them exerted all their strength. They were panting and tapping frantically on the keyboard. They were tied, both with 498 times a minute. To decide the winner, they had to play an overtime game. Rose was so tired that she couldn't hold on anymore. The boss came up to Rose and told her she had already exceeded the speed of 500 words per minute during her training period. Rose's desire to win was aroused by her boss's words. The game is heating up. The two were making eye contact while typing. The sound of tearing paper was getting louder and louder. At the most intense moment of the competition, the boss walked out of the arena with anxiety. He liked to encourage Rose. In fact, Rose had never exceeded 500 words. Hearing the cheers from the arena, the boss rushed in the door. With encouragement, Rose defeated the women and won the championship. She was so dazzling in the crowd. The boss tried to rush forward to celebrate but was pulled back by someone. He told her boss that he could only accompany Rose so far with his coaching ability. Rose needed more professional training for the next world competition. For the sake of Rose's development, boss decided to leave Rose. Even though the date of today training had made them fall in love earlier. But Rose had to get professional guides to compete in the championship. The boss then drove away. Rose became famous after winning the championship. Not only did she endorse the new typewriter and become the object of admiration of thousands of girls. She was also courted by the director of the typewriter factory. Her career and love were both successful. The typing competition became a popular sport. But she did not feel the pleasure at all. The new typewriter was designed with small buttons 
that made her typing speed plummet. But the coach around her did not care at all. She only blamed Rose's poor form, with the World Series just around the corner. Rose was anxious. It wasn't until she received an old typewriter from her father that Rose was reminded to keep her mind on what she had started. She was confident and ready to fight again. The woman's hands were covered in colorful nail polish. These nail polishes corresponded to the colors on a child's typewriter. This is how she trained to type. She went from typing with the fingers to typing with 10 fingers. And with 498 keystrokes per minute, she went from the country to the world. Rose finally waited for the world competition. Players must type at least 360 words per minute. Once someone makes a typo, reverses the words or is left blank, they are directly eliminated from the competition. The demanding requirements made the Italian contestant flip over the typewriter on the spot. The British players were also sighing repeatedly. Only the American contestant maintained her style of being the reigning champion. She kept her composure and took the lead after the first game. Only four countries remained in the final, but the successive eliminations of the German and Korean players left only the veteran champion Susan and the much-anticipated Rose in the field. But Rose was clearly in bad shape before the final. She wanted to go backstage to adjust but was stopped by her coach. If she withdrew at this point, it would certainly make her enemies look down on her. Rose could only continue the game reluctantly. At first, Rose was able to take the first set by a single word. But the American player quickly adjusted to the situation. She said to Rose, she thought that the French only cooked and didn't type since ancient times. The personal attack made Rose upset. The sound of the champion quickly changing paper made Rose very anxious. She heard the referee say that the winner of the second round was the American player. She was so angry that she rushed backstage and picked up the old typewriter. That's when a familiar voice sounded in her ears. The ball she had missed finally came to Rose's side. She returned to the ring with the old typewriter in her arms. The sponsor caught up with her immediately. He told Rose that if she didn't switch typewriter back, she would have to pay him back for every penny he had invested in her. And Rose replied directly that she had paid double the money. The third game started and Rose was going very well. Gradually, she seemed to reach another level. With only 40 seconds left until the end of the game, the skeleton of the old typewriter suddenly jammed. The atmosphere dropped to a freezing point. Everyone was feeling sorry for Rose. But she calmly untangled the skeleton and continued to play without panic. The audience cheered and applauded for her perseverance. The referee announced the result at the end of the match. Rose typed 515 words per minute. This not only made her the champion of the competition, but also directly broke the world record. This time the boss did not dodge. He took Rose's hand on the podium, and the two finally came together in front of everyone's attention.